and the whole hits fm kabudo it the insult we say we know get sense and accuse of of so many things that we did not even do or say my people it looks like all is not well all is not well with if yashua clearly uh, because she also said that I made mention of the fact that she was about to get married in December. I didn't consult her. Meanwhile, in her own audio, she admitted that she was given three months to organize a wedding. So if you, are, you know about something already, why should I consult you? When I was even talking to the lady, you snatched the phone and was threatening legal action against me if I dared to mention her name. So clearly, why are you pretending as if you don't know about it? Uh, I don't understand you. But quickly, let's go to my headlines. Um, I don't steal songs like How Shatawale Stole My Level and Gringo. Stoneboy was on KMZ show on TV yesterday and he put this across. That was on Showbiz Now on Joy Prime TV. Yes, Shatawale has also responded. Yes, and touched on Stoneboy's uh, disability, you know. And I don't know, but it looks like right now they, they throw the shades from all angles. And uh, that's also going to be on the table for discussion. In fact, that is that is our main story aside if you are Schwarzenegger's ranting that we want to respond to. So we have audios of her and um, we are going to make a good case, my people. 0267 300 327. Our job is to report issues that have been brought to us. And some of them are reactionary. Like, yeah, from what has gone on, somebody comes out with an issue. Some of them also too as well. And um, people say things and we cross-check and we bring you reactions. So that is how it is. We just relay information to you. Now, if you are is pretending as if she knows broadcasting more than somebody, she doesn't know nothing. Let me tell her. Her show she they do on TV. That show where they do we no get head and tail. No. Damn myself, nobody they talk about them. If you have a makeup where you come where you, you, you defeat there, go Facebook life. Oh. It be makeup. Please don't don't put makeup on and go on Facebook Live and let's see you. If you actually think I'm daring you. But anyway, um, Gizzo, which one should we start with? This one. I don't steal songs like how Shatawale stole my level and gringo, says Stoneboy. Stoneboy is really hitting on Shatawale in this new interview. Early on, he said it was disgusting for Shatawale to show his butt whilst performing on stage and in Germany. Was it in Germany? Well, yes, he noted that Shatawale tarnished the image of the dancehall genre for that matter and the entire Ghanaian music industry. The Bar Fira hitmaker is launching yet another attack. According to him, he's not like his counterpart who steals songs from other artists. He alleged that Shatawale stole his gringo song from Vibes Cartel and my level song from an Ivorian singer identified as Bernadio One Side. This story was broken my ass right here. In fact, we have an audio of Stoneboy whilst he made these allegations on TV yesterday. Let's take a listen. <laughs> the level, that's yeah, all. Yeah, Nipanaba, Nipanaba, because, uh, and also, so, and also, uh -huh. and a gringo, and also, and also, and also, and Vibes Cartel, and also, so, uh -huh. Ah, that was Vibes Cartel's song. Yeah. Maybe I sound a minimum. <laughs> All right, and um, strangely enough, not strangely, it was expected. Shatawale also responded to this and uh, touched on Stoneboy's disability and laughed about it, you know. Let's hear Shatawale on this one too as well. Was he really taking money so he be named that? The way too much. Eh? One leg, one leg. You take two, then the other leg will attach it. If I say Ghana, Ghana is a village. Hits yeah, so um, Shatawale also responded. I don't know whether it's an appropriate response or you feel it's below the belt. Well, um, it's, it's expected. Clearly, um, Stoneboy touched on a nerve, a sensitive nerve of Shatawale. You know, this uh, copycat, copycat issue. Sometimes, Sally, you know, they go down well with the artist, too. Uh, about especially my level one way, the Ivorian one side guy come day here where they talk. It look like Shatawale, that thing go and brutal. But Stoneboy, too, he just, it be thing where he hear where to put him across. He say he hears say, so he didn't say a categorical statement like Shatawale go steal song. He say he hear. So for me, 
Um, Shatter's response was also legit, but he could have done that without touching on Stoneboy's disability. I don't really like talking about people's disabilities, especially if it's something that is not even natural, created by an accident, which can happen to anybody. I've said this on this platform before. Shatawale, um, I would advise that you stay away from such insults. You know, I know maybe you also want to say something that will also touch his sensitive nerve. That's what you are doing. But for me, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. You are giving us content, but let's do it to a very smart level. Let's not over go, um, I'll say, oh, go overboard. Let me put it that way. Let's not go overboard when it comes to some of these jabs throwing, you know. But my people, uh, do you think it was necessary for Stoneboy to have even taken a swipe at Shatawali on this call, on this call, on an allegation that we are investigating? In fact, um, Bernardio one side has said the song was recorded earlier. Yes, but, um, well, that's what he said. But um, there's no way to show whether it was him who stole Shatter's song or Shatter who stole his song because anybody can come out with, I mean, the necessary evidence to say that my song was um, recorded earlier before yours. But what came on air that we all knew of was Shatawale's song. That is my level. Yes. I don't know whether, um, um, Rini, do you have it? Yes, um, but anyway, let's just move on. So that's what Stoneboy said. Uh, do you think Stoneboy has started another controversy? Or do you think Stoneboy is, is hitting Shatawali simply because Shatawali is also organizing a concert on the 28th of December to rival his, uh, his fill the dome, uh, what do you call it, agenda? Do you think that is why Stoneboy is not too happy and is taking a, a, a swipe at Shatawale? For me, I'm a bit confused because I thought that, I mean, he wouldn't touch on this matter. I, I'm surprised. Stoneboy, you like senseless controversies too much. If you don't go talk this, what will happen? Stoneboy, you like senseless controversies. Let me say it and be free. 0267-300-327. Yes. That is our WhatsApp line, and please make sure that you have it on your phone so that we can all communicate. Now, let's get to Ifia Schwarzenegger. I granted an interview to a lady who wants to remain anonymous, and um, yeah, clearly, I don't know. But Ifia didn't take this interview lightly. I don't know whether she said things that really hit her that hard. But from the look of things, she's not too happy about the fact that we granted the lady an interview. And I don't know why she's insulting us. Because if it comes to people speaking without reasoning, Ifia is number one. She doesn't reason before she talks. My people, I'm going to prove this right here today by playing some audios. And we can get from the inference that she, she is not in tune to any kind of intelligence. Um, let's first hear if you are bashing my good self and the whole multimedia group, especially Hits FM, because we granted an interview to a lady. Now, radio presenters and so now, I grant the interview. Then my main fan, the picture and to me page that. Now, multimedia, the minimum self was a phone, oh, some one ago, some no, you said Jimmy for. Oh, yes, sorry, I want to make my picture, but to me, my man granting interview. Me mami ni sika that eda na mwa no. Kwa suwa me mami mwa granting interview. Me mami ni sika that eda na mwa no. Kwa siya. E jimi fwa muku kompini mwa mwa nyu mene. Se. Ay. Mami ni suwa pende privacy. Me mami o ti fye no. A o ni mami ni wabedi na mwa multimedia. Mwa jimi jimi kwa siya fwa. Mwa titi ya mwa mwa kwa na mwa fye finti no. Na mwa granting mami we interview. E ne mami we ya nebe kachira mwa se. Nebe ebe wale me. My fans, my mugua, my colleagues, my mama and yesterday, my wife. And the other day, I'm on TV. They are showing on my page. Say, if you are is about to get married in December, to who? To your fathers or to Kwesi Chu? My Jimmy Nintino. They are moving beyond my money. They are moving beyond my money. Never wait to go up. Obi, to be sorry, but I'm a catch them. My baby, why if you are Shasnega December? Without consulting anybody, then you put on radio. If you are Shasnega, is set to marry in December. To who? To who? Kwasiye. To who? Kensiga poor dry. Kensiga kwasiye. To who? To who? Kensiga poor dry. Kensiga kwasiye. To who? On this show, we speak our minds and open yours.
My people, I know I am a Billy Goat. I know, and I like it if you are Shwaz nigga. I am a Billy Goat. You can insult me. Me, I'm not coming to insult you. I just want to tell you that all the things that you said was born out of ignorance. If you are Shwaz nigga, you are a very ignorant person. Have you ever seen, can you show me a snapshot or a screenshot of any multimedia online network that has published this story? Let alone using your mother's picture as caption. It was done by the bloggers. Bloggers were listening to the show. GH page and assembly.com, Ghana web, Ghana celebrities. They did their own thing. And they got their own picture and they put on. So why do you want to come and lambast multimedia for something that somebody else has done? Fine. I put information out that you're about to get married. Yes. Credible information that reached me. That you yourself has accepted that the woman gave you three months to do a wedding. Didn't you say that? In fact, Gizzo is even going to cut that audio. Didn't you say that the woman gave you three months to organize a wedding? So am I lying if I said you were going to get married? Am I lying? If you are sure, some of us have common sense. So. You were the same person who said that you don't have any relative whose money is at men's good and that the lady who took the, her money there was not being smart. That is why she took her money there. In another breath, you said you have relatives who have taken their money to men's good. If you are, you are confused, are you okay? Were you lucid when you were making these statements? It looks like you are not okay with Yashua Zinga. Let's listen to her, her contradictions right here on the show. So the boy damp a All right, it looks like what she knows how to do best is to insult, which everybody can do. But you know, people who respect themselves and people who have common sense, who have the requisite education don't talk like this this is garbage now let's listen to what she herself said i, I hope you've taken note of what she said earlier on now let's listen to another audio <laughs> So, my people, you can tell clearly that Ifia Schwarzenegger is a confused old lady. Confused old lady. She does not know what she's about. She blows hot and cold at the same time. Yes. You've said in one audio that your family people know go put them on money for one. They know food. They know they take trauma. Then, in another audio, because you are a big liar... You came out to say that your family people have taken money to Namwan. So, uh, yes, you are not... You, you, my people, my people, my people, clearly, she's not somebody we should take serious. But I'm, I am saying this because of the factual inaccuracies that she's putting out, which some people are bent on believing. That is why I'm talking about this issue. Left to me alone, I would have wished this issue away into the gutter somewhere. But I have to touch on it, if you are trans nigger. Anyway, um, now let's get to the marriage issue. Remember, she was talking about the fact that um, I, I, I didn't consult her and I put on air that she was about to get married. If she didn't know about the marriage, why would she say this? Let's listen to this audio. That is it. So, my people, clearly, we are coming to play another audio where she says she was given three months to get married to the guy. But in this audio, it is instructive to note that she said the boy didn't even propose to her. So, Efia, how come you went to sleep with him? 
and you saw that he had a small manhood, how come? If the boy didn't propose to you as you have said, were you the one who proposed to the guy? Moreover, this guy is a young boy. He's a very young boy compared to your age. You can give birth to that guy if you are. So when you are ashamed to let him see your nakedness, especially after not proposing to you, as you rightly said yourself, that the guy hasn't proposed to you. It was the mother. So you listen to the mother's proposal and went to sleep with the, her son. Are you are you okay? How can you listen to a mother's proposal from her son? Then you go and sleep with her son. Meanwhile, her son herself hasn't told you anything. Is that what a sane people do? Darling, you gave me three months to plan a wedding. Have you have you spoken to my mother before? Do you know my relatives? Do you know my father? When my father was in Accra, did you meet him? That is how much I don't consider you people relatives. Boy, we won't be in a long country and say we are me powder. That is it, oh. Me won't hold on in a mammy by. Boy, we won't be in a long country and say we are me powder. That is it, oh. Me won't hold on in a mammy by. Say, open me. A man of power so we fear. Oh, worry me back. Now so how? Sandy, you worry. Or see, I'm a power some darling. You gave me three months to plan a wedding. Have you have you spoken to my mother before? Do you know my relatives? Do you know my father? When my father was in Accra, did you meet him? That is how much I don't consider you people relatives. On this show, we speak our minds and open yours. So my people, Achiwawa, all I like is a French word. Where did I lie? About this marriage thing that she's going all ranting that we didn't consult her that she's about to get married. You have said and have agreed to this thing yourself already. If you are, you need to be very lucid when you are making public statements. Otherwise, you end up ridiculing yourself. That's what you have just done. Now everybody has seen that you blow hot and cold.